hello friends let's see how to create work schedules in time management in success factors a work schedule defines the employee's working pattern it is assigned to an employee's job information for example how many days per week and how many hours each of those days that an employee has to work there are three types of work schedules the work schedule models first one is simple model second one is period model and the third one is schedule model so what is simple model you can use this model if you are working only with work schedules that always start on the same day of the week as with for example a monday to friday work week that is sunday and saturday are non working days so let's see how to create a simple model work schedule we go to manage time of structures in the search and is time of structures create new work schedule so here you can see we have to enter the external name simple simple work schedule this individual work schedule no i am selecting no here model i am creating a simple model work schedule so i have selected simple model and you can see below the fields which are reflecting after i select simple model Now here uh, we have to enter the average per hours per day, per week, per month, and per year. And this is the average working days per week. Average hours per day is eight. Average hours per week forty. Average hours per month is one seven four. Average hours per year, approximately two zero eight zero. Average working days per week is five days, Monday to Friday. Flexible requesting allowed is no. So we enter day as one, that is Sunday. So here the planned hours will be zero since it is Sunday. so you can see the planned hours and the minutes has been defaulted after i enter the planned hours day 2 is monday it is a working day so the average working hours per day is 8 so i mention here as 8 so you can see the planned hours also updated with the with hours and the minutes we'll update tuesday as working day so 8 similarly till friday we'll update it so since i have considered the first day as sunday second day as monday third is tuesday wednesday thursday and friday is the sixth day so seventh day is saturday 
so here I am updating 0 hours so you can see I have updated the work day work schedule for the days average working days per week was 5 so here you can see there are 5 days 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 so we will enter the start date now for this schedule I will be entering 0, 1 slash 0, 1 slash 1, 9, double 0 country I am selecting India so I am making this work schedule as India specific so I have selected the country here if I don't select the country India this work schedule this work simple work schedule can be assigned to any country external code keep it simple work schedule I will save this record so you can see I have created a simple work day schedule with two non-working days so let's see how to create period model in the period model you enter a start date and a list of day models along with the number of days a period schedule can be used if workers work different shifts such as the early shift or late shift from week to week and the schedule is repeated period work schedules must also include non-working days so let's see how to create the period model click on create work schedule give the external name as period work schedule is this an individual work schedule? no in the model I will select period module model so you can see uh, these are the fields which are reflecting after I select period model time recording variant there are two types that is clock times and duration I am selecting duration here we can also use clock times I will make a different video for the clock times now we are selecting duration if you are creating a shift so you can select the shifts here whether it can be an early shift or a late shift so I am not creating a shift here so I am keeping it blank user user if you want to assign this work schedule to a specific user you can select the name of the employee here and then we have to enter the hours as per day week month and the year so I am selecting 8 hours per day 40 hours per week this can differ 165 average hours per year average working days I am going to keep it as 5 now here you can see in the period model work schedule then the, these are the fields day category planned hours and planned hours and minutes in the category you can see there is the day model planned hours and non-working days so non-working days are the days like Sunday and Saturday when we select planned hours so we assign specific hours of working day model when we select day model we assign 
the days as per the average hours so i'm selecting first day as non working day i go to details here so first day is a non working day i will just save this now the second day i am selecting it as a day model go to details so here you can see when i select day model as the category you can see the planned hours is asking me to fill the planned hours so my planned hours for the day model is 8 after uh, entering the planned hours click on done third day is also a day model details planned hours is 8 done so i'll be selecting day model till thursday so this is tuesday Now the sixth day is Friday since my first day is a non-working day. So on the sixth day, I'm selecting planned hours. Day six category is planned hours. So in planned hours, I'll put six hours. so you can see the planned hours and minutes is defaulted here with hours and minutes format done i'm saving this record now so we have created a period work schedule with the day, with the category as day model as well as non working days and planned hours now we will create a schedule model in the schedule model you enter a start date and a period model so you can see here i have already created a schedule model so you can see the period model i have selected uh, here with a start date if you have shift term workers you can create a period model with the appropriate shift and create schedule models example shift group 1 and shift group 2 etc out of this period model with different start dates so what i'll be doing is i'll be creating two schedule models shift group 1 and shift group 2 which will be assigned to employee a and employee b so shift group 1 is for early shift and the shift 2 is late shift and here the start date are different the start date for the for the shift group 1 is 111900 and for the late shift is 112014 so let's see how to create this so i have already created the shift group 1 where i have assigned 
the period model which i had created previously so i'll be creating a shift group 2 with a different start date so this schedule model will be assigned to employee a the shift group 2 will be ass assigned to another employee so this is called schedule model wherein we assign it with a period model which we have created so to create the shift group 2 schedule model i will go to manage time of structures create new work schedule name i will be giving is schedule shift group 2 is this an individual work schedule no model i am selecting is schedule so here you can see when i select schedule as the model this field is reflected that is the period model so i will select the period model here which i have created monday to friday i'm giving the start date as 0101 2014 so this shift will be starting from 2014 country is india external code i will keep it the same as the external name and save this record the external code should not be longer than 10 characters you need to continue with it so you can see i have created a shift group 1 work schedule and shift group 2 so this is called a schedule model of work schedule i hope you have understood the three models in work schedule simple period and schedule this is the end of the video thank you